Melodyne Studio Preferences. In this video, we'll explore some of Melodyne Studio's preference options. I always believe that the best way to work with Melodyne is to make Melodyne work for you, and these preferences are the perfect place to get started. Let's take a look. Here I've opened Melodyne Studio. Now, to access the preferences options, just simply come up to Melodyne using this Mac and select Preferences, and our Preferences dialog window opens. Here at the top left, we have our selector, which gives us our options with which we can begin choosing to set our preferences for, beginning with hardware. Obviously, we have our device driver that we can select from a variety of connected options. We also have our sample rate from 44.1 all the way up to 96 kilohertz with this device and our all-important buffer size, which helps with latency and overall performance, depending if we're editing or recording the audio as, you know, typical. We also have, in our next option, recording. We can select our file format, WAV, IFF, and old Sound Designer 2. We also have our resolution starting from 8 and going up to 32-bit floating. Pretty remarkable resolution there. And we also have a very important feature here, audio folder for unsaved arrangements. This is really important because you can actually set where you would like your files to be saved when you're working with them. This I really like to stress is very important simply because if you're working with audio on one computer and you don't set the save or folder for your work, and you transfer your project to a different computer, well, you may be bringing over the information regarding your work, but your files could still be left on your other computer that you began on. So it's important to set this folder correctly before you begin working. And let's see, appearance. Here's an interesting one. Well, why not be able to adjust how Melodyne looks as well as it behaves. Well, why not? We can actually customize that. Our first option here is style. It comes by default as this gray. Let me move the box out of the way. And there, that's what the gray looks like. We have one of my favorites, which would be blue. Here's blue. And we have an important one here, custom. We can actually choose our background, our no color, and our no border. There's an option right there. I made, so actually I made for a female artist I was working with. She seemed to really like that. We can adjust our brightness, of course, and here's a really interesting one, our auto-scrolling. We can do smooth or per page. Per page will actually flip per page, and smooth scrolling will actually scroll the playback as if it was moving along a path, which would be really cool if you're into that. Yeah, let's try our next one now, moving right along. New arrangements. This is very important also too. I'd like to point out right here, it says master feeder by default. On our mixer, let me open my mixer. I'll come up to window and open mixer. And you'll see right here that by default, a new arrangement gives us a minus 6 dB setting here, which can affect our, obviously, it will affect our overall volume of what we're hearing. Now, Melodyne does this, I believe, to prevent clipping and overloading of the audio. But it's something you really want to keep in mind. If you're typical, like using your, in a Pro Tools session or, or other, having your audio set somewhere around zero. So you can obviously do that or even increase the, the, the decibel range. Uh, so that's something very important to keep in mind. It will affect your overall playback volume. To adjust that, you can actually click the arrow and select 0 dB, and you'll notice this well, warning comes up telling you that this will only affect new arrangements created, which is all right. So do keep that in mind that by default, Melodyne gives you a minus 6 dB reduction on your overall playback. Very important. The next one is our, our time background. You can have it set to bars and beats, seconds or simply upon uh, creating a new arrangement. All right, moving right along, we've got plugins. This is pretty cool. You can actually install, you have your audio unit effects and VST effects. So you can scan your computer after you've installed, for example, some new VST effects or audio unit effects, and then you can actually select 
which ones you want to make available within Melodyne when you're editing, which is pretty cool. Simple, too. Uh, MIDI ports for our MIDI devices that we're working with. There's those, for example. And MIDI remote control, if you have some MIDI remote control devices selected, if you have them hooked up, actually. And here's a great one, detection. Now, by default, you'll notice here in the top left that it's auto detect is selected. What that means is when you import an audio file or record it, Melodyne will decide if it's melodic, percussive, or polyphonic. Or you can actually create your own by coming here to the top right of the box and hitting add. You can name your new parameter. Let's uh, name it something simple, like today. You can select a separation sensitivity. This will determine how sensitive Melodyne reacts to the audio, deciding where the note separations are. In our silence note limit, which is kind of like a noise floor ratio, at what quiet points to begin making our separations. Rhythmic. You also have separation here, melodic, percussive, polyphonic. So basically, you can create your own detection parameter. And when you're done, you simply hit OK, and there it is today, which is the name that I just gave it. And to remove it, you can select it, come up to Options, and simply hit Remove. Also, you can re-edit it. You can import other detection algorithms. Let's say your friends created some and you want to trade some or share some. This is the way you would do it. You could export yours and email it to people or just do a file transfer and, you know, play around with different um, detection parameters for different kinds of audio. And you can import ones that your friends made or that other people have that you want to share. Let's remove that one for now. And it's gone. Pretty cool. Let's go up back up to our next one is shortcuts. Let me bring this window up and I'll make it a little bit bigger for us. All right, this basically means we can assign any keyboard command to any of these shortcuts. How our windows reacts, our file commands, and you name it. I mean, it's all right here. Our editing commands. Melodyne does a really great job to give you keyboard commands that are really logical, but, um, you know, won't interfere or confuse you uh, as if you were, you know, using other DAWs and uh, you're very familiar with those, you can come into Melodyne and actually uh, import those key maps to your favorite DAW and begin using the same uh, keyboard command shortcuts. Tools, let's see, transport. Uh, for example, if you wanted to set one, here we have click on and off. We just choose it and select a different keyboard command. Let's say in this example, it's saying Q would activate our click on and off. If I select W, and that's as simple as that. Now the key, keyboard command W, will activate our click on and off. And to put it back, just select Q. It's as simple as that. So it, you can see how flexible Melodyne really is in setting the preferences to get what you want done. And other, other is pretty interesting. You have your languages and your undo levels. A lot of people don't know this. By default, you can have up to, you have 50 undo levels by default. And you can choose anywhere from 1, 10, 25, 50, 100, and 500 levels of undo. Pretty handy. I'll keep it on the default 50 for now. And some other, you know, minor little edit editing options here that you can uh, customize once you get more familiar with Melodyne. I wanted to take this time to really show the preferences. Now, there's a lot more you can do to get into it, but my whole theory behind Melodyne, like any software application, is how to make it work for you. And the preferences options here in Melodyne is a great way to begin doing that. So I suggest that you dive right in, open it up, and begin, you know, adjusting these preferences because the more comfortable you are, the quicker you're going to work. And that's how you want to work, at your own pace, work quickly, and do quality work fast. My name's Carlo Libertini. This is Melodyne Studio Preferences. Thanks for watching.